Hi guys, welcome back to another video for Pixar Pro. My name is Rick Bradbury, a commercial photographer and portrait photographer based in Stockport. And today we're going to be comparing two different versions of the 60x90 softbox. The easy open, which is in this little bag here, and the more, I don't want to say traditional, but the standard um, softbox, which comes flat packed with speed ring rods and all of that stuff to build up. So we'll take a look at those now. Right, okay, so. I have laid out here the components of the bag that the standard softbox came in, which packs down quite flat. Um, so you fold the softbox material, um, put the rods in, you have the inner baffle, outer diffuser, grid, that's just an empty box for the adapter. I'll throw that down there. And all of this builds up the softbox. Now you could um, store the rear adapter ring and the Bowens adapter within this bag as well. And to be fair to it, it ends up a little bit flatter and more compact than the Easy Open, which is here. However, as you can see, we need to build this. Now, nice thing about the Easy Open, um, as it comes in this bag, to tell you what we'll do is I'll throw that one down there. We'll pull this out. There's the easy open softbox, comes with a grid. And uh, these can be hung up on, uh, I tend to use like shed hooks, garage hooks, to hang these up in the office, put on shelves. You can throw them in your car in a boot, that's fine. And we'll put this one together. Now, nice thing about the easy open is you have the adapter ring, the Bowens adapter or Ellen Crom, Pro Proto, whichever lights you're working with, can be mounted on there. This element of it here, this ring, stays on and you screw on with a thumb screw, washers and screws, whichever adapter for the lighting system that you're shooting with. Um, now the rods are attached permanently to hinges and so they make up and fold up the softbox shape. So we'll pop this down. Oops, and you can call the microphone. Open that up. There we go. And all that we need to do is just to push down on the rod system which we have I don't know whether you can see this on the camera, just on the inside here, okay, very much like an umbrella. Pop this down, and there we go, done. And the inner baffle, I tend to leave attached to a couple of the Velcro points already, so I just need to, well, three of them, so I just need to put it onto one, okay. And then that is the, excuse me, Velcro noise, <coughs> that's the inner baffle fitted. Um, inner baffles are great, they further spread the light within the softbox, help reduce the hotspot in the center as well. Um, you can get different looks without them, but I do recommend generally to get the best light quality to shoot with them in. You know, depends on the result you want. Uh, we have a silver lined softbox, which is true of all of these, the open range. Uh, this one is the older version of the 60 by 90, um, but it's the same for the new versions, which you can see out there, or the Octas, all silver lined. That way they give good output and they are a similar, if not the same, colour temperature versus going from white to silver aligned modifiers. And then we'll put the outer diffuser on here. You just attach this with Velcro. I try and leave a little bit of space for the grid, should I want to fit it. I'm not going to put it on now. Um, and that is the box basically all built up. And it's nice because you can take it down. Um, pack it away, throw it in the car, store it in the storage room in the office, in my case. Um, pack it down if you're moving through wedding or event venues where you can't walk around with a softbox up and ready to go because you'd be smacking people in the head. Um, generally, nice and handy to be able to tear it down and quick to set up as well. Um, it's why I like the easy open range over the ones that we're going to have a look at here. So I'm going to pop this down on the floor. There we go. And what we have is the softbox material. I don't know if you call it a softbox skirt or what, really. Anyway, um, we'll gloss over that. Um, silver lined again, there. Uh, feels a little bit heavier and thicker, admittedly, than the Easy Opens, uh, although they've lasted perfectly fine, so a little bit heavier. Um, you have, yep, fold that over, uh, the ring there, adapter, the rods and the um, inner baffle and diffusion material there. 
in this bag. Um, I prefer the way that the inner baffle fits in those just with Velcro. These have these little spring pinch clips. I forget the name, what you call those. What are they called? Spring clips, whatever. Anyway, um, spring clips, they're a bit fiddly and small. Um, not a fan of those. And you get a grid there as well. And <laughs> oh look, instructions. I might need those. Right, it's been a while since I've done this. So you get the assembly instructions, okay. Um, you can get these soft boxes in various sizes, of course, um, as well, like you can with the easy open range. So, step one, read the instructions whilst recording a video. Take the rods and lead the smaller end through one of the guide loops. Okay, right, so you just lead the rods through the material. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see, with this kind of soft box, it's going to take a while to build up. Um, and if you're having to do this um, each and every time, okay, they're the same size, right? Um, each and every time, it's going to be, it's not that it takes ages, I suppose once you're used to it, you will be away to the races, but um, it will take a little bit of time to feed all of this through so you've got to slide these rods through these locator holes um, each time to build this up so what i'll do is rather than you watch me do this um, i'll get this built up and we'll have a look at the overall final construction And there we go, it is all together. Okay, so took a little bit of putting together. It's been a while since I've actually um, assembled one of these type of soft boxes, um, but it, it probably takes you about five minutes, maybe six minutes. Some people may be able to do it faster. I expect you'll get quicker as you do it more often. I still prefer the easy open. Um, so, one advantage that these do have, however, um, is when you're using gels because they don't have any umbrella mechanism, an umbrella rod sticking through the middle, so you can just hang a sheet of gel in these, so there's the thought. Um, but they are the same softbox, it's just different in construction, ultimately. Um, for location, run and gun work, easy open for sure. Wedding and event work, go easy open. If you're working in studio with gels a lot, you might want to consider these. And if you work only primarily indoors in the studio, you don't take things on location, then yeah, save some money. I believe the cheaper, go for these, build them, hang them up on the wall and forget about it. Um, but essentially the same softbox, just different mechanisms and the way they go together. So let me know in the comments below which you have or which you would buy. Um, I'm a big fan of the Easy Open. Would you buy one of these to save some money, hang it up on your wall and be done? Or would you put up with the setup and tear down? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Right, I've got to take this bit apart and I will catch you guys in the next video.